Well, hello everybody. Um, I'm going to start my Lister Blackstone CE today. This will be about the second time I've started this thing since I've got it done the work on it. It's been sitting for about 40 years in a guy's barn. Had, the biggest thing that was wrong with it was the fuel injection system was froze up and somebody tried to turn it over and broke an element plunger foot and destroyed the rack in it. I want to thank Shy Diesel in Terre Haute, Indiana. They did a wonderful job of getting the thing put back together. Had to make a new rack for it. Couldn't find one of those. I'm going to I'm going to try starting the thing today on the uh, the compression changeover lever on the cold start mode. I haven't haven't tried that yet. I've I've started with a hot air gun in the intake a couple of times on the regular compression side. So we're going to see what happens when we use the cold start feature today, see how that works. Um, hopefully it won't be a failure. <laughs> I uh, have just temporarily rigged things up with fuel and, and I got a little antifreeze in the engine here and just enough to warm it up with. I uh, haven't done a whole lot yet. Not sure how I'm going to set it up, probably with a radiator and a water pump I would imagine. A little history on this thing. These engines were made by a company in um, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, named Nordberg, under license by Lister Blackstone during World War II. Uh, this is the only one that I personally have ever seen. I know there's probably a few of them around. Parts are pretty much uh, extinct for them. But uh, they are a pretty tough old engine. So we'll uh, I'll put this camera up and we'll see if we can't uh, get her to fire off. See how it goes. See if it'll make some smoke. <laughs> 